Welcome to the Howdy Boomy Show. I hope your Christmas shopping is going well. Uh, we're almost into the first week in December. No catastrophes yet worldwide, I should say, in the United States as far as winter goes, as far as big storms. But you know it's coming. I wonder now, with the political season coming into a, a full-fledged chaos next year with the Democratic and Republican people trying to pick presidential nominees. And you take a look at all the talk shows now, especially in the left-leading ones, the liberal ones, the pro-democratic ones. If you took the word Trump out of their vocabulary, they would have no show. They'd be sitting there staring open-faced at the, at the television screen. Right now, all you're seeing is Liz Cheney who is bashing Trump because that's all she knows how to do because she's selling a book. You bash Trump, the liberal media, the mainstream media will flock to you. Even though what you have to say is bullshit, they will flock to you. I've never seen an individual from the time that he announced that he was running for president until I sit here today as persecuted as much as Donald Trump. And I would think just a normal human being, you and I, if every day you're called an asshole and every day somebody's bugging you, everybody, you're the worst person ever, every day in your life that happens publicly, after a while you're going to get pissed. I am sure he's got a, a long list of enemies that he's going to try to get even with if he gets elected, which I don't think it will come in the way of running this country. But it's always going to be in the back of his mind. And I'm going to think that people like Hillary Clinton, James Comey, Brennan, all the newspaper people, uh, Liz Cheney, everybody who's really, really after him is going to have to worry. Congress is going to have to worry. The Department of Justice, the FBI, the IRS, all these people who were manipulated by the Biden administration for all of these years are going to have to worry. That's why sometimes I think it would be better to have someone like a DeSantis running the government and just put Donald Trump in charge of the Department of Justice. Let him clean it up because it needs to be cleaned up because we're in the dark. We have no idea what's going on because according to politicians, we're too stupid. And I just hope that I'm sure Joe Biden is not going to get reelected. I'd be shocked if he's a nominee. But the way he's going now, he's not going to get reelected. If I had a son or daughter in the military, I'd be worried. Because our military has been turned into a social experiment. You've got a war going in Gaza. You've got a war going in Ukraine. We're being attacked every day by Iranian puppets. And Joe Biden is not going to call Iran out because Joe Biden is being directed by Barack Hussein Obama, and they want to leave Iran alone. They want to make Iran relevant. They want to have discussions with them. But Iran, all the world, does not respect us. They do not fear us. Think about you're a foreign leader, and Joe Biden walks into your building. What's the first thing you think? You take a look at him. You respect the United States. But you take a look at him, and you say, this guy's got no clue. He has no clue at all. He's got a powerful country behind him, but I'm not worried about anything that this guy does. That's a sad state of affairs. We have to deal from a position of strength. St. Nicholas Day is coming. I hope you enjoy it. It's December the 6th. On that day, I'll tell you a couple stories. But remember, whatever you do, get out and vote. Liberal, Democrat, conservative, Republican, whatever it is, you don't deserve to be in a conversation unless you go in and cast your ballot. I hope you have a great day. It's going to be a very, very interesting week. I hope things go well for you. Watch the Howdy Boomy podcast on the Howdy Boomy channel on YouTube. It'll be on TikTok. God bless you. I'll see you very, very soon. God bless America.